Hi, I'm Jody and let's continue Elpic and speak about mounting and unmounting file systems. It's important and you will use it in your daily life. You need to be able to manually mount and unmount file systems, configure mounting, understand UUID, user mountable, and awareness of system demount points. Also, we need to have an idea about these things fsdub file slash media mount unmount block id and ls block but first things first what is mounting if you are an english speaking person unlike me you know what mounting is generally mounting is something like this you mount someone when you are having love or a horse when you want to ride it or a motorcycle maybe or a chopper i don't know anyway you might know better than me what mounting is in english but on a linux and unix machines normally if you're familiar with a operating system called windows you would know that when you have a usb disk for example or an external disk and you connect it to your usb or you have a new disk in your system you will know it as C colon, D colon, and the new disk will be E colon. For example, whatever file is here, you will see it here. Unlike Windows and Unix Word, you have a one specific hierarchy of file systems. It starts with the root directory on top. Then you have, for example, etc for your configuration. You have home, the user of your home, the home of your users. You have the proc for showing what is going on inside the kernel. You have lots and lots of other directories. Root, we've covered this root for the home of the root and other things. For example, under home, you might have Jody. My home is here. All my files are here. When you add a USB disk, to a Linux machine, you should add it somewhere in this hierarchy. Normal place is media. These days, older times, it used to be MNT mount. So for example, I will create something like a my disk or new disk or Jody disk here, and you mount this file system because you've already used F disk to create partitions here. Then you used MKFS, for example, ext4 to create a file system on this one. We've seen this in the previous section. And then you mount this, for example, slash dev sdb1 on slash media slash my disk. And then all the files here are visible here. Okay, I have a Fedora here. Let's run a terminal. Let's become root. Okay, ls block will show me what block devices I have on this machine. What I have is I have one VDA, virtual disk one, system boots from this. I added a VDB for FDisk to one partition, formatted it to VDB1, so I first I used F disk, then I used MKFS ext4 on slash dev VDB1 and created an ext4 partition on it. Now I can use it. If I want to use it, the easiest way is creating a directory in the media, which is a correct place for it. I say mkdar and media create for example new disk this is just an empty directory let's go and check it i'm here i can even create your main file there is a file here okay then i can do mount this file system vdp1 on media new disk very easy peasy i had my file hierarchy i had a media directory here i had a new disk 
directory here and there was a file which was called main file here what I did was I had a new file system I mounted this file system which was called vdb1 into this directory so from now on from this hierarchy if I go here I will see whatever I have here let's try it cd media new disk my previous file is not there there is only one lost and found which is a standard directory in mkfsext's so I can create new file here uh, new file I have a new file here mkdir even a new dir I have something here if I go here say ls slash media new directory I'm seeing whatever I created in that file system you can use the mount command it will show you all the mounted file systems what I did ah. it says okay slash dev vdb1 is mounted off is mounted on slash media new disk the type is ext4 and these are the options read and write real time sec label you just need the read and write at the moment if you check for other things for example slash dev vda3 is mounted on root so whatever you write on the root file system will go here if you write in etc it will go here unless you write in a slash media new disk which goes in this file system so you can have different types of file systems in different areas this is super useful because for example look at this you have a uh, you want to install a linux you create three different partitions and you mount this one as a slash so all your linux will be installed in this but you will mount this one on a slash home so users data will go here after some after some time var log becomes super huge you have lots of logs and you want to keep them and this is uh getting full so you just buy a new hard disk 100 gigabytes and you say okay it's a small hard disk let's buy a two terabyte hard disk and you say mount this file system whatever it is called on slash var log from now on whatever log on the system will go into this file system and you solve the problem that you had here and also it's clear if someone wants to check your logs later you can just detach this give them this file just give them this disk and they can use it anyway this is why this is super useful so as you saw the mount command shows all the mounted file system if you want to u mount it unmount it you have to use the u mount command i will do a u mount i can say slash dev vdb1 or i can say media new disk same i will u mount this if i do a ls media new disk you can see that we have our own old file because the new file system is detached super interesting normally on the manuals they will tell you to do like this you can you have to say mount dash t your type for example ext4 let me create some directory somewhere else i created a testing directory in temp i can say type ext4 mount what vdb1 on uh temp testing okay and we have our old files here because now i mounted this somewhere else this is not mounted here anymore this is mounted on slash temp testing so if you go to slash temp testing you will see these files this is super cool and you can see that i mentioned that the type is ext4 if you omit this mount will try to guess the type you can also do dash o and some uh par options defaults is the defaults for sure
when you omit it but you can say read and write you can say user so user can unmount this you don't need root access to unmount this or mount this and you mount you see it just two more important things dash o loop is for ESO files you can directly mount an ESO file somewhere you can say dash o loop your ESO file somewhere slash temp testing slash media is better also slash mount mnt and for the swap partitions we do not mount swap partitions we use swap on and swap off when working with swap we may see this later up to here you see what is mounting and the basics let's go to the next section or maybe better in the next video i will show you how to use uuids how to use fs tab and have a small chat about systemd mounting be with me